Good morning, online learners. This is third grade science. And we have our homeroom class here, Mr. Monzo's class. Everybody say hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome, online learners. Uh, we are learning, according to the board, about needs of plants, parts of plants, roots, stems, and leaves. A few years ago, many, many years ago, I planted some grass in my yard and there was an area where there wasn't a whole lot of dirt but I had some sand and I decided to use sand and I pl tried to plant grass in the sand because I thought when I go to the beach I always see grass. I couldn't get any grass to grow in my sand. Does anyone know why it didn't happen? Yes, why didn't it happen? Did you need um, a type of soil? Yeah, I did not have a very good type of soil. There's not a lot of nutrients in sand, okay? I had some, I tried to use it, but what happens at the beach? How come it grows there? Any ideas? Um, it's because like water, doesn't like water wash up under it? It does. And it gets wet. Yes, and they're very special plants at the beach. Water washes up to them, plus their roots will go really deep into the sand and find nutrients under the sand. So when we see sand dunes and plants growing there, they can grow there because of their root system and because they can reach nutrients. That's not gonna work in this area. I scraped the sand out of my yard, I put good dirt down, planted the grass seed, it grew wonderfully. Then I sold my house. But you're not gonna sell a house with a yard or an area full of sand, okay? You have to have good soil. So that's part of the, the needs of plants. You need good soil. In our book, on pages A6 to A13, it talks about the needs of plants. Humans and other uh, animals need air to breathe, water to drink, and food to eat. Plants need certain things to live too. They need nutrients. They, are you okay? Okay, they need nutrients. A nutrient is a substance that living things need to survive and grow. Parts of plants, all parts have, or all plants have cells. A cell is the smallest and most basic unit of a living thing. Plant cells have stiff walls that support the plant and give it shape. Plants cannot walk around and move from place to place. I saw that in a cartoon one time, and I thought, oh, plants can walk all over the place. Is that true? No. They stay in one place, guys. Unless, I mean, some of them float on the water, maybe water lilies. You need to use the restroom? Okay, go ahead. All right, but for the most part, let's hold off. Let's wait till he comes back. For the most part, a plant is planted somewhere, and it stays in one spot. Walter, what do you need? Plants actually do move. Their vines move. Their what? Their vines. Well... Their root system is going to stay in one place. So if it's a vine or something like that, yes, it could swing in the wind, but it's not going to get up and walk to another location. Plants have roots. They take in water and nutrients and provide support to the plant. A stem holds up the leaves and carries water and nutrients throughout the plant. Does anybody know what a leaf does? What does that do for a plant? Yes. Okay, it does, it, it, it will, well, it more, it more so it absorbs sunlight and gases from the air and it uses them to make food for the plant. So the water comes through the roots, the stem to the leaves, and then the leaves collect sunlight and gases. Roots, you usually don't see the roots of a plant. The roots, most roots um, grow underground. The most important job is to take in water and nutrients from the soil. Roots have tiny hair-like parts that help them do this. Now sometimes roots, uh, you can actually eat the roots. Can anyone tell me a type of root that you can eat? Walter. Um, I never said how but I forgot the name. Okay, how about? Okay, so sometimes you can have like a mint type thing. Yes? Potatoes. 
All right, potatoes ground or ground, carrots, turnips, beets. These are roots, but we actually eat the roots. Ethan. What? Okay. Did you say cattails? I, I, I don't. I know they grow near rivers or swamps, but I don't think we really eat those things. Okay. All right. Stems are the uh, many plants have long and thin thin stems. They contain tubes and they carry water and nutrients throughout the plant. Leaves grow out of the stem of the plant. Many plants have leaves, and this is the part of the plant that makes food. And on pages A10 and A11, you'll see many different type, types of leaves. Go ahead. The next page, we talk about plants meeting their needs. And here's what you need to grow if you're a plant. You need sunlight, okay, so the plant can use that to make food. You need air, leaves taking gases from the air, and that's used to make food. You need nutrients, roots taking nutrients from the soil. Plants use them to live and grow. And very importantly, you need water to take in from um, the soil and water helps hold the plant upright. Water, plants use water to make food. Water helps to hold the plant upright. Okay guys, many years ago we had our little pond in our room and I put some water lilies in there and I had the water they needed. There was nutrients that I would put in the water there was air, but it was way in the corner of the room. My water lily died. My water lilies died. Why did they die? What were they missing in the corner of the room? What were they missing? They were missing sunlight. I couldn't find a good place in the room. These, these classrooms do not have a lot of windows, and where there were windows, it was hard to put the pond there, and we didn't get a lot of sunlight, so the water lilies kept dying. So I just quit using water lilies. They looked really pretty. They were nice in the pond, but without sunlight, they would just die. Hey, yes. Buy a big one. Buy a big what? A fake one. Oh, a fake one. I could use fake ones. That would have worked. All right. So online learners, make sure you read the pages A6 to A13. Do your journal entry today based on the website. At the end of the week on Thursday, you'll have four journal entries done based on the websites, and you have to take the weekly quiz based on the study guide. Before we go, Walter has something to say. Walter? Maybe you can have little toy birds to perform. You have to fix them Okay, well, that's an idea. If, if we bring our pond back this year, which I hope to do at some point, we will consider all your suggestions. Okay, online learners, nice to see you, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Everybody say bye. Bye. bye.